I've said it in the time we've had a chance to talk about it. I think that um, for us, the, the development has happened through, uh, one, a really a strong relationship that's being built by the room, you know, through Gino and the guys. And I think, we think as a staff, that's probably the best part that they've really bonded, which you have to in that room to get things solved. So the development has happened well off the field, which is really helps it. Um, and I said this the other day in another interview, I think this, that anytime you add maturity and guys like Sam Hartman to your program and to that room, all it does is make everybody better. And this Notre Dame has taught me now more than ever, that's what Notre Dame's about. Like, we want to put special people in this program from the head coach down. And when you do that, it's the adage that high tide raises all boats. And that is what I've seen and what we've seen as a staff. So, you know, I'm not dodging the question everybody's going to want to ask. The development's been good. Uh, Buckner and Sam have both played a high level. Um, it's great to see Minchie come out today and play some high-level reps as a guy that still should be in high school. And Steve Angeli has really showed some promise in throwing the football as well. So that's really where it is. So all four have developed in their own way. Coach, folks on the wide receivers, who are a couple players that have taken the steps and where you could actually lose Caleb Smith and still consider Lorenzo Stiles getting reps at cornerback? It used to be such a small group last year's recall. These young guys coming in, who are some players, whether young or older, that have really taken steps forward? This yeah, it, it's good, and you're right. Like the, I was thinking about it before I came in to visit with you all. That they're, I mean, you're writing names down, and that's good, right? Um, I think the um, the development of Chris Tyree is certainly something that's going to be a, a factor for us. And as he learns how to play that position, Tobias has taken necessary steps. JT as he continues to work, what it means to be able to play every down and really force himself to be in shape to do that is really taking steps. Those three kind of veterans, if you will, kind of show up in different ways, which has been great. The young guys that are here, again, that should be in high school right now are just learning, um, but there's certainly so much to see from them that you like. Um, Deion Colsey is, is taking some steps in certain practices, and if we continue to work on his consistency, we feel good. But you've got a rack of names there that uh, you start to feel good about being able to play and not have to be so um, put them on the sheet, put them on a call sheet and have to sub so many out and move the pieces so much. You'd rather be able to sit still with them a little bit. In your spring and all, what you've seen as far as the evolution of this offense from, from day one through the scrimmage today? Yeah, I think it's been good for us. It, it was awesome to be able to start day one. I think I said this before spring to be able to know that we can line up, snap the football, and operate with all the things pre-snap before even worrying about trying to execute. There's a lot that goes into just being able to have the ability to get the ball snapped. And so that was a great start. The evolution has been, what are we going to cut? What are we going to rename? How are we going to play with different tempos and certain things that allow us to operate maybe differently? And then add what, what our wrinkles are. So we've been proud to add some things that we think are going to improve us and make Notre Dame better. Um, and then still stand on who we are, which is to be a tough physical football team up front. So we've, we hopefully we've done those things. Then you 